Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another laptop here and in today's laptop it's an HP-14-CK0004 model. This is these laptops are really basic laptops and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to clean up the inside and repaste the heatsink on the motherboard. And this applies for any HP-14-CK series. So let's get it started. First thing first, all you need to do is power off the laptop completely. Then you want to flip it upside down. Uh, you want to, you're going to need a few tools. Tool number one, you will need a screwdriver set. A good screwdriver set is really nice to have around the house, around the shop. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to grab the Phillips number one. These beds are made out of S2 class steel. That means they will last you a much longer period of the time. Phillips number one from here. You can get the pro set of the screwdriver, which includes your tweezers and opening tools and many other things. I'll leave the link in my video description, or you can get it separately, uh, curved tweezers. For the opening tool, you can grab yourself a guitar pick, a metallic one, and you will need an alcohol. This is an isopropolic alcohol or isopropolic alcohol, 95% plus. You will need your thermal paste. A good thermal paste is always recommended. Arctic MX4, or you can go Arctic Silver 5, or if you want an overkill, go with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. I'll leave the link in my video description, but for this model, I will recommend you guys to go with the Arctic MX4 only. You will need some towel. I'll use the workshop towel. These are really great to do your service. So one sheet of this. And now we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna only realize there's two screws on the bottom. They are colored black in front end of the laptop. So go ahead and remove these two screws. These are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. And there's a hidden screws which are under the rubber leg. If you are facing the front end of the laptop, towards yourself on the bottom from the left side go ahead and lift up the rubber right here with the opening tool and lift it up about 10 centimeters and you will see a first screw right there go ahead and remove this screw right there and these screws are the same size as the black screw on the front and we need to remove the whole entire back rubber. So put it right underneath the opening tool and lift it up. Make sure you always lift it up 45 degree angle. Do not cross over. Otherwise you're gonna snap the rubber. So always lift it up in one direction, bring it up like this. That's very important. Now we're gonna start removing the three screws right underneath. Also, I realized there's only one person of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. If you guys want to support the channel and if my videos are helping you guys out, you can click that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate it. All right, once we remove all the screws on the bottom cover, the next step would be to open up the laptop. I'll open up in 45 degree angle so you guys can see. We want to stick the opening tool, in this case a guitar pick, on the, between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And now we're going to twist it towards the outside, lifting up the palm rest, just like that. And you're going to hear some clicks. That's what you want to hear, a clicking. You want to do the front end. You want to do the sides. Go all the way back to the corners in there. Do left and right. Now you want to gently close up the screen. Now you want to grab where you have the uh, single USB and uh, SD card reader. You want to put your thumb right by the hinge. You want to grab the cover just like this, grab it and pull it up a little bit. Once you pull it up, now you want to bring it up and you want to slide it towards the rest of the I.O. on the other side. Wiggle it around a little bit and push it towards the other side that way you can release all this usb port in plastics here 
once we remove here you don't need to clean up the bottom cover because there should be a fan here on the other model there's a fan and there's a fan filter dust filter but this one doesn't so down here again this is the fan space right there and they just fill up with the plastic and the processor is right here and this is the heat sink right over so first we're going to remove the battery by removing all the screws that are touching the battery cover so this one this one this one that one over there there should be one right in the corner but this one is missing so i don't know if it came from the fabric factory like that or it was actually missing so go ahead and remove all the screws Let's remove all the screws that touches the battery go ahead lift up the battery by the jack right here in front, beside the jack lift it up once you disconnect it right here pull it out pull it back so you can release this side so if you try to lift it up from the back side it will not come out because of this plastic hinge so you have to release that once the battery is removed now we can work on the cpu heatsink there is only four screws holding the heatsink on so go ahead and remove these four screws once you remove the four screws for the heatsink go ahead and lift up the heatsink and there it is this is just a puny copper sheet heatsink and i don't know this grease was leaked from the thermal paste so that's not that conductive so you can be pretty much you're going to clean it up so we're going to put this to one side now we're going to grab the our workshop now we're going to soak it in in the alcohol and we are going to clean up the cpu first you do not need to remove the protective cap on tape here but if you want you can go ahead lift it up on one side and peel it off well, i ripped this one but again it's not necessary so leave it to one side and you can clean up the cpu even better this way all right once the cpu is cleaned up now you do not need to put this one on because there is already protection on this side so it's not necessary but go ahead if you ripped it up don't worry about it just place it right on top make sure it doesn't go over the crystal die you have to go on the sides so as long as it goes on the sides it's not covering up the cpu die so just put it there if she's not tapping on the screw holes right there all right now we're going to clean up the heat sink remove the excess and you would think that this would be a copper sheet at least but this is not even a copper sheet this is an aluminium sheet painted so it would have been even better if they had a copper sheet you need to clean up the CPU a little better and there's no absolutely shining clean and you need to grab your thermal paste put a one drop in the middle and that's it and the last thing would be to just grab the heat sink bring it over align it and put the four screws make sure you cross screw them always go cross screw them doesn't matter which order you start from just cross the screw then put your finger in there so it doesn't lift up and do the other side all right now the other one other last two doesn't matter which order you go to i made another video how to upgrade the hard drive another video how to make the upgrade the ram in case you guys wanted to do any upgrading all right once we finish with this one here we're gonna grab the battery put the back end of the battery down there in here and align it and push down on the contact make sure it goes towards the motherboard and place all the screws on the battery
All right, with that one finished, we're just gonna grab the top cover here and we're gonna scoop down on the, where you have all the uh, USB and HDMI port, we're just gonna scoop it down in 45 degree, push it down, make sure you that click and let go. And, and next, you just wanna push down on the front end and here all those clicks, push down the other side, the back, middle, and everything, and make sure it does a snap. And the last screws that you're gonna place is on the bottom cover, place them under the rubbers, and the last two ones are in the front end which are colored black and again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own maintenance for your hp 14-c q model if you did and if you have any question or request you know where to leave them and then i hope you guys can subscribe and click that like button i really appreciate it as always thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up Putting up the rubbers. And there we go.